the first thing that you need to do is set up in your machine node 6 or higher. With this in place, you simply type npm install minus g for global and then angular dash cli. This will take a moment, maybe a few minutes, but at the end you will have a command line interface ng that will allow you to bootstrap a project from scratch with a single command and all of the generated code respects the Angular 2 official style guide. So let's get started using the Angular CLI. Let's create a hello world project. Let's type ng new hello dash world. And this will immediately start generating a new project from scratch. It will take a moment, but once it's done and we cd into the directory hello dash world, we're going to see that we have here a whole project scaffolded. Let's now switch to the IDE that we will be using for these courses, which is WebStorm. So you can see here that the whole project was generated in the hello-world folder. And if we open here, for example, the main.ts, this is the entry point of the application according to the Angular 2 official style guide. This is the convention. We can see here that this is a fully compliant Angular 2 final project. We have here an app module, which is the root module of our application, and we are using it to bootstrap the application dynamically in the browser. Please don't worry because we are going to go over each and every one of these concepts one by one in separate lessons. What is a component, what is a module, etc. How to bootstrap your application. The goal of this lesson is just to set up an Angular 2 playground that works reliably so that you can use it for your learning experience. So. Let's run the playground. We can run the playground with only one command, ng serve. This will start up a live server that will automatically refresh the browser each time that you have a change in your code, each time that you change one of the files. ng serve will take a moment the first time to build your bundles. But the good news is that it will be much faster afterwards. So after a few seconds, you have a running Hello World application in your browser. In this case, in port 4200. Now let's inspect the network tab to see how many HTTP requests were made for this simple Hello World example. We can see here that even in development mode, so ng-serve runs everything in development mode, what happens here is that we only have six HTTP requests, so the development experience is actually very fast. Also, we have hot reloading working, so if we change here the title of our hello world message and we hit Ctrl S to save the file, automatically the browser gets reloaded with the new version of our application. Now, we can also build the application very easily in production. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can always subscribe to my channel for more upcoming Angular 2 tutorials. Also, have a look at the website of the Angular University to see what type of Angular 2 tutorials you find there that you might like. So if we type ng-build-prod, we are going to trigger the production build, which is going to apply a series of optimizations to our bundles that are not applied in development mode because they are a bit time consuming, so you only want to apply them for production. Now we can run the application in production mode by using the command ng serve minus prod. So we have here a running application in production mode. And so here we have it, a stable working environment that we can use for learning Angular 2.